All right, welcome back to another pixelflife.com video tutorial. Again, my name is Shannon and we are doing Maya modeling. Um, and we are modeling this cool scooter that we are uh, picking up from off of the last lesson where we learned how to create the image plane um, on the side view. And we're gonna go ahead and get started. First thing that we're gonna model is gonna be this big wheel here. Now we're not gonna get into texturing it and all that yet. Um, we're just simply gonna model it. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. And I'm going to simply grab this polygon cylinder tool, tool here. And I simply want to, first of all, just kind of center it up here and drag out to a general size that I'm gonna want. And from that in my top view, I'm gonna go ahead and bring this out like so. Now remember, I'm gonna be mirroring it over, so I only need it to be half the size that I'm going to need, um, which is going to be, this bevel's gonna be roughly around there. Now we'll probably adjust this ourselves a little bit later, but that's, that's kind of the basic premise. Now with this wheel here, um, so that everything is done properly, I'm first of all just going to leave it where it's at. Uh, but let's go ahead and go to Faces. And the way I access this menu is by right-clicking and holding down that right-click. And then I'm going to select all these faces and just hit my Backspace button. And that leaves me with just a round tube cylinder because we're just basically going to bevel this in. Now, from this point on, we're going to right-click and go to Edge. I'm going to select this edge, double-clicking it, and it will select it all the way around. From there, I'm just going to use my extrude tool, which is right here. And I click on it once, and you'll see this little diagram thing shows up. And from there, I can then hit uh, R, which allows me to scale. And I'm simply going to scale this down and in. And then I'm going to hit W, which is my move tool. And I can move it out just a hair. Now, I don't need to move it out much, just a little bit. And I'm going to repeat that, repeat that process. And... Uh, Scaling that down, but this time I'm not going to bevel it at all. I'm just going to keep it kind of close And then I'm going to do it again Hitting R scaling it down And this time I kind of want to move it in a little bit But not a whole lot Hit the extrude tool again R scale it down uh, Kind of like that Extrude it one more time, R, scale it down, but this time I'm going to move it out just a tad, back to the original location. And I'm going to extrude that, hit R, scale it down, leaving that lip kind of right there, doing it again, bringing it down even more. And then I'm going to move that one in just a little bit, and final extrude, I'll hit R, and bring it down. Now, from that, uh, I'm going to go to right-click object mode, and I'm going to click off of it, hit F in all of my planes so that it kind of zooms into it. And you can see here that that wheel has been created, but it's obviously not placed correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and hit W on it, and I'm just going to move it straight down. And you can see here, I actually got the placement of it lined up pretty good on this uh, plane, um, just simply because this image is not perfectly straight on the side, and we're going to have to compensate a little bit for it going back and forth. But that placement of it is actually pretty good. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and go to File and Save Scene As. And I'm going to click on my scooter lesson number one and just save that as two, and which would be a tire, and hit save. And that actually looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Now, we are going to have to mirror it over to the other side, but we're not going to worry about that right now. Um, but one thing I do want to do is I want to go to vertices, and I want to select all of them on this uh, vertice on the top. Zooming in, hit W to make sure. And I just want to make sure that those are definitely lined up on that edge, which is right there. That way, some uh, eventually when I go ahead and I use the mirror tool here to mirror the geometry over across an axis, um, it will actually mirror it um, to the other side. And uh, you can see here that negative x that way we can actually um, I always forget which one it is there. Um, But 
But, uh, but that's basically the, uh, you know, we're going to merge border edges. You put it on zero there and it merges them, keeping that one line um, intact. Basically like that, and that just creates one object with a very with a perfect seam all the way around it. Um, and we'll we'll actually just leave it like that. That way, um, it's it's all lined up for us and done. We don't have to worry about it. But that's that's basically how it works. And you just mirror it on this this minus x pivot. Um, and the way you can kind of see what pivot you're on is if you kind of get it in this view, you can see here the red on the um, move tool. And you can just see here in your perspective plane, it says Z, Y, X, and the color is coordinated. So I know that, hey, I need to do it in the X direction. And then you just make sure the pivot's on zero, and you're good to go. So with that, we'll go ahead and uh, hit Control-S to save it um, as PFL Scooter Lesson 2-Tire. And with that, we will conclude this lesson. And in the next lesson, we're going to start modeling probably the handlebar system um, the best we can. So... Uh, Stay tuned for that, and we'll see you soon.